Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Deem and today we're going to be talking about the trap of becoming, which is I think one of the biggest or at least one of the biggest traps in my uh, experience to becoming awakened. Well, so-called awakened, of course, right? Because there's no one who becomes awakened, uh, right? So again, if you'd like to skip to the summary section or the most important points, out of this video, then please uh, find the, uh, the timestamps uh, somewhere around me or in the description box below or in the progress bar below, right? All right, so let's then get uh, started. Uh, well, first of all, why, why, why is it a thing? Well, it's because uh, when you go from one mind state to another, for example, or from one ego state, so to speak, to another ego image uh, from one to another, then uh, guess what? You're moving. And this is... Um, this contradicts your authentic nature because your authentic nature is immovable. So you're basically nothing. And what does nothing do? Nothing. Uh, it does not move. And when you are in this state of, you know, conceptual movement from one state to another, uh, then you are contradicting yourself. And then you cannot be fully, fully satisfied or um, find this actual peace. Uh, that can be found only after, I mean, only when you stop trying, basically. And I'd like to make a short note is that there's nothing wrong with transforming. There's nothing wrong with becoming a better uh, human being or a better version of yourself, of course, right? Uh, but um, transformation or like going from one ego state to another, from one personality to another, I mean, uh, the, the way you think, um, uh, feel and act, when you change like these three things into another personality, so to speak, that's good, but that's still growing your ego, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. If this is something you'd like to do more of, then please, please do it. But that's not uh, really, really, really going to help you awaken, okay? When you see through the personality, you can still develop it if you want to, if that's uh, your thing, uh, but you're going to do it without to this element of desperation, right? It's not going to be so extremely important, extremely urgent. Maybe also not uh, not as fun, right? As when you are deeply, deeply in this so-called game of life. Uh, but at least it's going to be lighter. It's going to be lighter because you, you kind of see through it. You see through the illusion of personality. So you see that it didn't exist, that it's not gonna exist, and it does not exist right here, right now. And guess what? Your nature is already perfect, so there's no need to fix yourself in order to become better. And there's no need to repair yourself because there's nothing wrong with your authentic nature, with the personality, and with the way that you look at the personality. That, that, that's another story. I mean, the way the personality looks at itself and at different um, possibilities uh, that uh, this personality can use or different avenues that it can go in order to develop it, to become a different personality, right? But I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about the most authentic part of your, yourself, uh, yourself, of course, um, the, the part that is already there that does not need uh, any manipulations, for example, or some changes in order to transform or to fix or repair that. No, 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 you don't need to do this. So why do people seek uh, transformation? Well, it's usually because they think that when I transform, then I'm going to become a better version of myself. Then my life is going to be easier. Then I'm going to have this peace, this transcendental existential piece that I'm looking for, right? And in a way that they are going to get like some of it, right? But not, uh, not as much as you get when you actually get awakened in a non-dual way. Uh, because you can only have like real peace when you reconcile the unreconcilable, so to speak. When you reconcile things that are, uh, so to speak, in conflict with each other from the point of view of personality, right? From the point of view of our mind. Uh, from the point of view of the majority of the society, right? Uh, things that uh, cannot work together, like either or. But when you um, allow yourself to go into a space where both of them actually exist, and you're going to be like, oh, but you, you, you guys don't have to um, mutually exclude each other. You just are different colors. 
as opposed to one is correct, another one is incorrect. Do you see the difference? Do, do you see the difference between that's good and that's bad versus that's red and that's yellow? So people who are awakened, they basically don't have these definitions of correctness, incorrectness, good, bad, valid, invalid, appropriate, inappropriate, right? They just see it as different colors and all of them have space and all of them are welcome, basically. By welcome, I don't mean that they are welcoming things like war, for example, that is happening right now, right? Uh, or things like rape or murder. That's not what I'm talking about. They're just allowing the possibility of this happening. It's basically like a game in uh, Sims, right? Uh, Sims is a nice game. Uh, and uh, a lot of things can happen in this game. And uh, one of the things uh, is death, for example, right? But if a sim is dying, does that mean that the game is a bad game? Well, not really. It's just a game. And that's basically how people who are awakened in a non-dual way, they look at life, right? That's how they uh, see uh, the world. Whereas when you are in the like, deep in a personality, right? Then in that case, you will have to fight to defend your position because every personality has its own subjective view of uh, reality. It's not objective, like it's subject object relationship. So this subject or this personality has its own objects that are in direct, in direct conflict with another subject, another personality that has its own objects, right? Its own um, expectations, its own definitions. Um, its own evaluations, its own opinions, right? And then they fight, they clash, uh, because they're both being in the picture. And what you want to do, if you really want to uh, develop this piece, is get outside of the picture and allow everyone or everything to just be. So when you're outside of your personality, you naturally don't fight because you just don't cling onto anything. So then why do you, you don't feel the need to defend any position because you don't have a position, right? And some people might say, oh, that's a bad thing. You have to have a position, right? Well, the, the, the thing that your I mean, our mind has no capability of understanding, has no ability to understand is that you are able to not have an opinion and have an opinion at the same time. So you're basically feeling these emotions maybe you know, uh, popping, popping up there, but uh, you're not taking them seriously. You're basically looking at them as uh, like a Santa show or Batman, right? Which is just a character. So you're just not taking it as seriously. Therefore, you're not um, being um, a prey to this uh, thought or this feeling or this sensation. The sensation or the feeling that says you have to stand with this opinion as opposed to that opinion because that one is definitely incorrect right but that is probably not the case so real lightness starts after awakening because you see that everything is a game everything is just an illusion so you might as well just enjoy your time here so becoming is one of the biggest traps uh, at least in my opinion in my experience and uh, becoming uh, is only possible within time, if you think about it. So there's like a timeline and then you start your journey of transforming into a different version of you. And then as time passes and as you, if you're committed, of course, to change, then you become someone else. But notice you, you need time for that. And time is an ego creation as well. And here's the thing. If you stop becoming someone, uh, you stop moving somewhere, right? Uh, because becoming is moving and when you stop moving you become immovable uh, basically your authentic nature because your authentic nature is nothing is immovable and when you're there then your ego starts to dissolve slowly 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 dissolve or maybe not the ego but your idea or your belief in that ego starts to dissolve because the show or the seeming show might be there for a long time, but uh, the question is whether you're going to be, wh whether you're going to buy into it, whether you're going to think that it's real. And by time, I don't mean physical time, I mean psychological time. So psychological time, like uh, I am reacting like this because I've been abused for a long time when I was a child. 
that, th that's why I'm reacting like this. Well, actually, that might be partially true, but probably uh, it's not just because of this, but because you've been pedestalizing this um, idea that if I'm traumatized as a child, I have to uh, continuously uh, choose to behave, to think, to act, and to feel as if I was abused. But if you just choose to think, or act, and feel in a different way, you're going to notice that, wow, this does not work as powerfully as I thought it did, okay? It's about people that say that, oh, I was traumatized in my childhood and there, that's why I need a long time for me to recover. But maybe that's not true. Maybe you can recover like way faster than you thought you can. After all, there are some people that can reverse even cancer, right? Like even a terminal, like a very brutal terminal illness like this in a couple of weeks even. So if they can do it, then you can do it as well with something milder, like uh, the, the trauma that you went uh, through. And I'm not saying that your trauma was a mild thing, right? But I'm just saying that if they are, poss uh, they are able to uh, change the way that they are thinking, uh, feeling and acting um, when they have this terminal illness and that causes them to change, to just um, heal, then you can do it as well. And just so you know, I got this information from Joe Dispenza. So I think uh, you can check uh, his uh, material to get more information on that, okay? So the trap of becoming is uh, moving from state A to state B, whatever that is, like from an unhappy life to a happy life, from life that does not satisfy you to a life that satisfies you from so-called wholeness, right? Because you can even identify with the wholeness of life to a character or the opposite, from a character to wholeness. That, that, that's still movement, that's all ego. Movement, 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 movement. And what I'm saying is uh, when you awaken, it's the opposite of that. You just realize, wow, there's no one that moves. There's no one who needs to transform because it, he or she does not exist in the first place. And notice these are all dualities, like not happy to happy, not satisfied to satisfied, character to wholeness, or the opposite, right? That's all, th these are all dualities. And uh, I'm talking about non-duality. So it's the opposite of that. And only subjects are the ones who move because your nature, again, as I said it over and over again, is immovable. And I found in my journey that I can only find peace when I'm immovable. And by that I mean conceptually, conceptually immovable. And so if your goal is to awaken, then the mere attempt to become someone else or to become awakened is already leading you away from actually being awakened because the um, authentic state that you are, that you already are, does not need you to become anyone, okay? You know, the most important problem that we have with this uh, becoming a trap is that we are running away from our natural, immovable, authentic state. And guess what? We can even be too much preoccupied with so-called spiritual growth. But what does spiritual growth even mean? You grow from the state of like A to B, right? You're moving somewhere. And that's already becoming. So you are becoming someone, like become more spiritual, a more, well, a person who's closer to awakening than you were a week ago, for example. But that's still you becoming someone else. And uh, that leads you away from this motionless, uh, authentic state that you are. So it's quite simple. You just have to stop becoming because you are already there. You are already it. Uh, awakening is not about becoming. Awakening is about finding out that there's no one to become. There's no one who needs to become. And there's no one who even can uh, become, right? And by that I mean become awakened. You don't become awakened. There's no one who becomes awakened. I'd like to share with you some like experience that I had with a stance, not stance, but pose. The tree pose from uh, Qigong, right? 
So uh, I started uh, staying in this pose for 20 minutes. Uh, I mean, the goal, what was the goal? Um, I actually wanted to feel better, uh, to feel calmer, because uh, I think it was like about two and a half to three years ago, and I felt uh, a lot of anger, like in my life, right? And I wanted just to get rid of it. And uh, so I just decided to take this pose, the, the, the tree pose, because uh, as far as I know, or as far as I read, this is one of the most difficult ones um, to um, stay in. And uh, so I thought, yeah, let me do this. And I started with 20 minutes and every single week, you know, after seven days of staying like this every single day, I would uh, increase the amount by one minute and then one more, one more every single week. I think I missed just one week and uh, it went like for seven, seven months, something like that. And I think uh, it was like uh, until 53 minutes or something like that. Uh, I was just staying every single week until my knee started to hurt, right? And I just could not go on because uh, this was not healthy anymore. And actually, I'm very grateful for this experience because without this knee injury or knee pain, I would not have understood what I'm actually talking about. So becoming someone, um, by the way, don't get me wrong, this was a great experience and I'm glad uh, I was doing this, right? Um, it allowed me, of course, to be to become calmer, but not uh, I could not have uh, reached like real, real peace. Because real peace is outside of these um, techniques or methods, right? These techniques, methods, they can help you, um, but they're not the reason you get awakened, okay? Or at least they're not the reason that I got awakened. And so it's kind of funny how my pain, like something that I thought was unfortunate, actually was a good thing. A good thing that stopped me from continuing to do something that was that, that I thought would lead me to the ultimate, you know, calmness, right? Or peace. But that was not possible. It's not I well, in my opinion, at least in my opinion. It's, uh, I don't think it's possible to reach peace until you reconcile the unreconcilable, just like I mentioned. And that's only happening when you awaken. And for that, you need to paradoxically let go of all methods. This trap is paradoxical. And why is it so? Because if you want to get awakened, then you think, okay, I am not awakened right now. I want to become awakened, right? And what I'm telling you is, no, you don't have to become awakened. So it's really strange to understand, like for your mind, what you have to do is get outside of your mind, um, because this is not figure outable. This is not understandable. Okay. So don't try to understand it with your mind. Try to read between the lines if you can. And you know what? Now I'm thinking that if, if I watched like a video like this, um, like three years ago, like before starting this, um, you know, journey of uh, s like s staying in the tree pose. I don't think I would have liked this video, to be honest. But I actually needed to go through this uh, first. Um, yeah, if uh, this is for you, then please uh, go ahead, do this. But I just found out that in my journey, that was actually counterproductive. If your goal is to awaken, but if your goal is to calm yourself down by all means just go there and do your uh, technique technique of choice right all right so thank you very much for watching this video if you found this video useful then please uh, give it a like and consider subscribing for more videos like this okay here is the summary and see you in the next video if you have any questions then please let me know in the comment section below okay all right see ya have a good one